Let's begin in Canberra, where the Chinese ambassador addressed the press club, taking plenty of tough questions, like this one from Channel 9's Chris Yulman. You've occupied and militarised the South China Sea in contravention of international law. Recently, you threatened an Australian Air Force craft, uh, aircraft flying over those waters under, uh, under rights under international law. You've under international law. You've imprisoned our citizens without rights to national justice. You have launched thousands of attacks against private and public sector through cyber. Uh, you've interfered in our politics, our universities and our... Di <coughs> Our diaspora and the people that you call the 1.2 million overseas Chinese, many of them we would call Australian citizens who owe a right, a duty to Australia. So can you see why it might be that some Australians would think that when you talk about international law and positive policies, you do not do what you say? It was compelling viewing. It was for me anyway. Gleeso, credit to the soon-to-be-retired Chris Yulman. What mm. did you make of the Ambassador's speech today? It was a great question by Chris Ewan, wasn't it? Look, the problem we've got here with the Chinese is that you can't believe a thing they say. They tell so many porkies they make Daniel Andrews look like a choir boy. So at the end of the day, we're not starting from a level playing field here, Chris. We are coming from a situation where we tried, uh, God forbid, to find out what happened with coronavirus so that it doesn't happen again, so that the world can learn what happened in that Wuhan lab or that Wuhan wet market. They took exception. They lost face over it because they knew that it was something that rampaged throughout the world and caused so much misery and economic uh, drama. Now they're trying to suggest that we can reset the relationship because we've got a new Prime Minister. Bollocks. You cannot trust these people. They have the morals of an alley cat. And while ever you're getting down dealing with an alley cat, you're going to come out on the wrong side. Which is why we've got so many Chinese Australians here in this country. Now, here was Peter Dutton just this morning at the Ecker in Queensland. We want to be treated uh, as an equal. Uh, and the propaganda that you're seeing coming out uh, is similar to what you would see come out of North Korea or out of Russia. And it needs to be called out. Uh, we're not going to cower. We're not going to appease. Uh, we're going to call out bad behaviour. James, he, he got in even before Xiao got to the podium today and he was right on the mark. We did see some good old-fashioned propaganda from Xiao today, didn't we? Well, we saw a lot of, well, you call it propaganda, I would call it lies. You know, the thing is, is that the new ambassador, Ambassador Xiao, is a very smooth customer. He is a complete departure from the old wolf uh, warrior style of diplomat who come out thumping the table and, you know, banging every, everybody around the head uh, with, you know, these strong words and everything. Very smooth. You notice the way mm. he approached the whole thing. He's like, you know, we just want to be friends. We respect you. You respect us. Mm. We can all do business. But then... Under questioning, and I was very, very proud of the whole press gallery uh, there today. They did a fantastic job, yes. everybody, from every outlet. Um, the, you know, you start to see it crack because once, you know, they're very thin-skinned, the Chinese Communist Party, and any sort of insult to their face, whatever, you know, they get very bristly. And then they have all of these bizarre demands, including around t Taiwan, comparing it to Tasmania, you know, as if the history of Taiwan is like t Tasmania <laughs> federating into Australia. But there were some really <laughs> sinister things talking about Taiwan. He said that there be maybe a process for the people in Taiwan to have a correct understanding about the motherland, which says to me that their intention is to take Taiwan by force if necessary, and once done so, make the 23 million people on that island slaves mm. to the Chinese Communist Party, Can't treat them, them like the Uyghurs, and, um, and forcibly re-educate them. This is sinister stuff, and don't think it'll stop at Taiwan. Yeah, which is what mm. the Chinese ambassador to Paris is saying too, re-education camps.